watching for Israel coming back at you with a quick cap update, an update to help build the nation, an update to help uh, do the work of the Most High, a help for alms, charity, and a help to get this work going so we can take this truth to the next level, to seal the elect throughout the four corners of the earth, and raise up the valley of the dry bones. Right, I'm going to go to Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So one of Jacob's blessings that he gave his 12 sons was to gather themselves together. That was the first commandment before the blessings went out. Gather yourself together. So it's imperative that all of Israel that's in this truth, that know the name of the Most High, Yahweh, that know his son, Yahweh Shai, who believe that we are the Israelites, who believe in repentance and, and the destruction of our enemies, and that we have to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments. It's important that we gather ourselves together, rather you live by yourself, rather you live in a community, rather you feel like you're the only one out there and there's no Is Israelites around you, rather you're in another camp, right? It doesn't matter. The Most High commanded us to gather ourselves together. So it's our job to push this truth and do the work of the most up, right? The Lord said in uh, Matthew chapter 24, right? Let's go to Matthew chapter 24. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then, and then shall the end come. So the end is only going to come by the men of the Lord putting their hands to the plow and doing the work, right? So we have to get up off the couch, get up off your seat, get up from behind the keyboard, get up from hiding, get up out of, from hiding amongst the trees and put your hands to the plow so we can get the hell out of this captivity, right? All of the oppression, all of the crying and all of the complaining is going to cease once you put your hand to the plow because our salvation is predicated on the work that we do. Right. The Lord said the kingdom of heaven is within you. So we have to manifest the kingdom. Right. The Lord said, neither shall they say low here or low there. For behold, the kingdom of the most High is within you. Right. So we have to do the work of the most High to bring about the kingdom. We have to repent, build our people up, teach them the laws, teach them the commandments, teach them the statutes, show them how to repent, show them the name of the most High, the name of his son, how to love one another, how to keep the commandments. This is how we build ourselves up as a nation. So. It's very, very important that, that brothers and sisters have a mind to do the work of, the, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shut. Right, let's get another one. This is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 9. Right? Despite how many camps you may see out there, and how many views you may see certain congregations get, and how many brothers you may see on the highways and byways, it's still not enough. Right? That's why Yahweh Shah said in the book of Matthew, the ninth chapter, about praying for laborers and a vineyard. Right, this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 9, and I'll start at verse 37. Matthew 9 and 37. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into, the, into his harvest. So we have to constantly pray that the Mosai send forth more laborers into the harvest. And like we always say, there should be brothers all over the, all over the uh, um, earth, man. Teaching the work of the Mosa and doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, right? Teaching the doctrine, going into the curses, going into the prophecies, and breaking these scriptures down so we can wake up and get out of this captivity that we're in, right? The Lord said, the harvest truly is plenteous, and everybody wants to reap the harvest. Everybody wants to reap the rewards of labor and work and sweat and toil, but not many people want to go out and labor to bring about the harvest, you have to be one of the laborers to bring about the harvest and do the work of the Mosai. So we have to do the work of the Mosai. And what help is doing the work of the Mosai? Being, or what's part of doing the work of the Mosai? Traveling, you understand? Opening up camps, doing groundbreakings, unity camps, going across the country, going across the world. So we do need your help, Israel, to help do this work of the Mosai, right? So arms is gonna help us be able to set camps up be able to help us travel, be able to help us uh, with schools, feast days, congregating, and everything, uh, new cameras, you know, things to be able to help take this truth to the next level through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right, let's go to the book of uh, um, 1 Peter. Right, let's go to 1 Peter chapter 4, and I'll read verse 
7. All right, let's go to 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. It reads, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. So the Most High is demanding us to be charitable, right? You may not be a, a, a servant of the Most High. We can remember a thousand precepts. You may not be a brother that can read the loudest and the mightiest. You may not be, have certain gifts and talents that the Most High has given other men, but you have gifts and talents that Yahweh Yahweh Shah has given you, man. right? So we want to exercise our talents. We want to be able to donate, give alms, be charitable, so we can help do this work and help push this truth so we can sue the elect and we can get out of this captivity, right? So with that, that's just a quick uh, update on doing the work of the Most High. Um, if you're in uh, any one of our uh, the respective cities, um, reach out. We do have the email, watchmanforisrael77 at gmail.com. Uh, we have camps in Baltimore, Detroit, Philly, uh, Jersey, Atlanta, uh, Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, Los Angeles, uh, Oakland in the Bay Area. Uh, we're opening camps in Canada, Jamaica, Trinidad, Germany, France, Scotland, Italy, um, as well as Cleveland, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, um, uh, Pittsburgh, you know, Greensboro, Virginia Beach, uh, Rhode Island, right, uh, New York City, you know, and um, uh, Milwaukee, right, and many other uh, uh, cities. And more and more is coming through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashanel Shah. We do need your help. Right, so with that, Kwame Yashab, but the Nakwam Shalom.